And the 0-2. Served in the center field. Hicks has been much hotter of late, having his best stretch of the season. So he's two for two with a walk, and that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And they will change the baseballs. And for those tuning in from around the country to watch judges at bat, welcome to the Yes Network, everybody. We're in the seventh inning, 3-3 game. Judges had three plate appearances. He walked and scored in the first inning. Fly ball to medium right in the second, and a ground ball to third in the fourth. So he has gone now 34 plate appearances since home run number 60, the one that tied Babe Ruth. Roger Maris patiently waiting on the other side of the record book. Hicks leads off first, and the pitch to Judge. Outside, 1-0. and And the pitch. Swing and a miss, one and one. Crowd of 37,008 here at Rogers Center on this Wednesday evening. Dual purpose to see the Blue Jays try to clinch a postseason berth and watch Aaron Judge possibly hit number 61. And the 1-1. One -one. Keeping it away from him, two and one. Seven straight games and this one without a home run for Judge. His longest streak, nine straight games. Two one, fouled straight back, two and two. He's right on that pitch. Probably the best pitch he's had to hit all night, a sinker, but it got a lot of the plate. You see Aaron Judge around the ball and under the ball just a bit. And the 2-2. Well, the home plate umpire almost punched him out, but instead another full count. This is a pitch you see so often called on Aaron Judge and not a lot of other players, but not a pitch he can do anything with. Good take. Back to the full count. And the pitch. All the way. Came him out. Adam with another fastball. Sinker 95 miles an hour. Since his last home run, he has been walked 13 times. Four last night, no other Yankee walked. And then one in the first inning tonight. Throw over. He's been very calm and collected, but you would think it's got to be weighing on his mind just a bit. He is the center of attention and sometimes uncomfortable in that role. And the 3 2. Fouled away. And now he takes a walk. He usually doesn't do that. He stays anchored in that batter's box, but he takes a walk to clear his mind and reset. Judge back in. And the 3 2. Drill deep to left field. This could be it. See ya. He's done it. Number 61. He's been chasing history, and now he makes it. He and Roger Maris are tied with 61 home runs, the most anybody has ever hit. 
in a single season in American League history. about you, Coney, but you know what? We've seen all the tapes of Babe Ruth. We've seen all the tapes and the footage of Roger Maris, but now we've got a face. We've got a guy that we can say, you remember when? Aaron Judge, this has been such a great year and so much fun to watch. Number 61. Sixty one years ago in 1961 Roger Maris hit 61 home runs that record in the American League is held up through all these years and 61 years later Aaron Judge has tied it and you can see a sense of joy and relief on his face it was wearing on him just a bit but with that one swing he makes history and the hug between Roger Maris Jr. And Aaron Judge's mom connects all the dots to the generations. Oh, and by the way, the Yankees take a 5-3 lead on this swing. That ball up in the strike zone, and a lot of times as a hitter, you've seen him fouling a lot of ball balls off. Not this one. Had a little top spin on it, and you never see emotion from Aaron, uh, from Aaron Judge. Well, you did here. What a monkey off his back, and what a swing for the, the ages. Well, Tim Mesa will now forever be on the other side of history with Tracy Stallard. After he served up this pitch, Mom knew it. Roger Maris Jr. knew it, and they are united in history around the magical, mystical. Number 61. This was one of his line drive specials, not the high arching home runs, but this dugout was waiting and they knew. He is loved in that dugout, in that clubhouse for his unselfishness. He is the star of this team. He doesn't act like it, but he has done something that only one other man in American history has ever, American League history has ever done. Hit 61 home runs. So number 99 catches number nine here in Toronto. Those fans came so close it ended up landing over the fence untouched by a fan. And the Yankee bench euphoric over their teammate making history. In 3.8 seconds. 61 years of history. Tied. 
and an absolute bullet at 117 miles an hour off of Aaron Judge's bat. Wow. And maybe that little walk around the batter's box cleared his head. That's not something that he usually does. And then he gets in and he hits the home run. Here's Yimi Garcia. And a foul ball by Donaldson. And a great classy gesture by a, a pro Blue Jay crowd. They all stood up and gave Judge an ovation, and he got his proper dues here in Toronto. Those two fans that reached over the fence, they came that close to possibly hitting the lottery. But that went into the Blue Jays' bullpen. A 1-2. Swing and a miss. Donaldson down on strikes. This was so great. There has to be mixed feelings for Roger Maris, Jr., his dad had held that record that many people consider the record for single season home runs for 61 years and give him credit he was here every step of the way throughout the homestand and these three games in Toronto class personified that one's chopped to short and it's booted by Bichette as Peraza reaches. How about that smile? Thanks, Mom. And a strike to Bader. Well, in his 34th plate appearance after hitting number 60, he joins Roger Maris at 61. A season for the ages, according to Aaron Boone. Boy, is he right. One and one. Well, Coney, you've played with some unbelievable talented players in your career. I can say the same. I don't remember anybody ever comparing or coming close to what he has done for this team in one year. One and two. Roger Maris had Mickey Mantle. Aaron Judge carried this team this year. And he hasn't had many tack on home runs. You know, Yankees tied at three. That's a home run that gives them the lead. We've seen a lot of that this year. So with the two run home run, he now has 130 runs batted in as well. The 
it's hard to wrap your mind around the monster season and the numbers that he's put up. It, it just, it, it, you do a double take when you look at his, his numbers. Oh, Bader almost got hit. Close to the backstop, allowing Peraza to go to second. Still an electric buzz in this crowd. Trying to process what they just witnessed. Up the middle and a base hit past the diving Merrifield. Peraza will score. The ball gets by Bradley. And Bader will go to second with an RBI single, an E8, and a 6-3 Yankee lead. An impressive at bat for Bader. Unbelievable after being knocked down, lining one up the middle. Cheers. A man who hit 59 home runs just toasted a man who has 61. And there's still more season to go. I think it was Meredith who asked Stanton how he dealt with the pressure of sitting on 59. And he had a great answer. He said, I hit 59. That's how I dealt with it. <laughs> the relief is palpable. One and one on Gonzalez. One and two. Kiss from mom. From tucking him in as a baby to watching him enter baseball immortality. Pretty nice trip so far. Fouled away. Thirty years old, drafted by the Yankees, up through the Yankee system, and has put together one of the great seasons you will ever see. Sixty-one home runs, sixty-one years after Maris did it. Two and two. Can't help but think about the baseball gods with those kind of numbers that you just said, Michael. Wearing number 99 on his back. Popped up. Chapman on the run, slides and makes the play to end the inning. But the seventh inning here on this Wednesday evening will be remembered forever. In the 121 year history of the American League, only two men have ever hit 61 home runs in a season. That guy's dad, that woman's son. Aaron Judge enters the history books with a bang, 61.